I'm Jeremiah McKinnon, and this is NEC News Today. Here now are the top cannabis news stories from around New England for April 21st, 2023. A Maine medical marijuana dispensary was robbed overnight, with roughly 200 pre-rolls now missing. Only a few days before 420, a cannabis dispensary in Maine is facing an unfortunate predicament. The store reported roughly 200 joints missing after experiencing a break-in. The Earth Keeper Cannabis Dispensary in Winthrop, Maine, was one of several businesses at a strip mall where robberies were reported this week. Police say that an alarm at Earth Keeper Cannabis Dispensary was set off at roughly 3 a.m. on Monday. According to reporting by Central Maine, the burglar mostly stole cash but managed to grab roughly $1,200 in marijuana joints from the dispensary. The incident is under investigation and may be tied to another break-in at another business that happened roughly two miles away. Police canines trained to detect cannabis won't be returning to some Connecticut police departments. It's fair to say that there are some unexpected consequences that come along with legalizing adult-use cannabis. One such surprise is that cannabis canines who use their powerful noses to find illicit cannabis are no longer needed. According to reporting from Connecticut Post, one department has already chosen to not replace a recently retired canine, and another is planning to do the same when their two dogs retire soon. Police dogs are becoming impractical since most are able to detect multiple substances and cannot communicate which drug they're identifying. The future of police canines is focused on detecting narcotic drugs rather than marijuana, providing emotional support, and finding individuals who are lost. This week, I couldn't resist grabbing something special to enjoy for 420, so I grabbed a 500 milligram THC infused syrup tincture from Chill Medicated that had some amazing reviews. This tincture goes well in drinks or by itself, and it's an easy way to medicate quickly. I got exactly what I was looking for with this product. It was a delicious and innovative way to medicate. I would definitely recommend trying it out. For the full review, including photos, please visit NECnewsToday.com. Rhode Island's adult-use cannabis sales are falling short of expectations over the past few months. Cannabis sales of Rhode Island are steady, but not reaching the levels that were initially projected. According to reporting from NBC10 WJAR, $3.4 million worth of cannabis was sold in December, $3.5 million was sold in January, and $4.2 million in February. The state originally projected $40 million of cannabis would be sold in the first seven months, which assumes about $6 million in monthly sales. The demand has fallen short of expectations, but operators and regulators both feel that the pace will begin to pick up in the near future. There are currently less than a dozen operational cannabis dispensaries in Rhode Island, in the near future, Governor Dan McKee is expected to announce his picks for the newly formed Cannabis Control Commission, which has the authority to grant future cannabis licenses. The Massachusetts Cannabis Control Commission announced a deadline to provide input into the drafting of future cannabis regulations. During the commission's April meeting, Chair O'Brien announced an opportunity for stakeholders to send in their comments and suggestions on three key topics. By November 9th of this year, the Commission is required to update the regulations to reflect recent changes made by the Legislature with regard to host community agreements, municipal equity, and social consumption. The Commission has three internal working groups dedicated towards these topics and have asked interested parties to send in their input by April 28, 2023. This is just one of many opportunities that the public will have to weigh in during this regulatory review. Cannabis businesses in Connecticut are lobbying lawmakers to help reduce their state tax burden. Legislation that would give cannabis businesses the ability to make business deductions is getting support from those who operate in the industry. At the federal level, cannabis retail dispensaries cannot deduct business expenses on their taxes like an ordinary business. Connecticut wouldn't be the first New England state to loosen its state tax burden for cannabis businesses. Last year, Massachusetts made a similar update to its cannabis law, which is sure to help cannabis businesses as a competitive market makes it difficult to turn a profit. Last but not least, Inspect the Deck from the Wu-Tang Clan has announced a partnership with a provisionally licensed cannabis company, Coyote Cannabis. Known for his membership in the Wu-Tang Clan, Inspect the Deck is the latest celebrity who's launching a cannabis brand in Massachusetts. Coyote Cannabis is a cannabis cultivator and product manufacturer with a provisional license in Uxbridge, Massachusetts. According to an article from Celeb Stoner, Inspect the Deck told the Grow Bud Yourself podcast about how he met Blake Mensing, a cannabis attorney and an owner of Coyote Cannabis. The collaboration will potentially include a pre-roll line called Rolly Fingers, as well as an Inspect the Deck THC-infused gummies. Fellow Wu-Tang Clan member Capadonna is also involved in the Massachusetts cannabis industry with a line of flour through his partnership with Resonate. 
For the absolute latest New England cannabis news, head on over to NECnewsToday.com and follow us on all your favorite social media platforms. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video. Subscribe to NEC News Today for more great content and hit the bell icon so you never miss an episode of the show. For New England Cannabis News Today, this is Jeremiah McKinnon reminding you to always use cannabis responsibly and to enjoy your cannabis-filled adventures throughout New England.